What I want to focus on now is how we'd work with null or undefined types in TypeScript. And to start, what we'll do is we'll start by actually um, defining a new function here. So let's say let's say we've got a function called const get name, and that is a function that uh, gets a user object. And we'll define a user as this case as just an object that has one property, first name, and that property is of type string. So if I wanted to return user dot first name, we've got no problems there. If I use get name and call it, um, it's going to throw an error here because it's expecting one argument but got zero. So all I need to do is pass it an object with the property. If we hover over it again, first name. So first, oh, first name, and then we can assign that to Brave. But what if I'm defining a function where I want it to be able to accept something or nothing? So what if I want this to take a you know, what if I want this to get a name when we don't have a user? So delete this here for a second here. We can use the uh, optional parameter here. So I can say user is either going to be an object with the property first name or it's going to be undefined. So in this case here now, we can see user is possibly undefined, which means we can no longer arbitrarily access first name. Uh, we've got many different ways we can solve this. Um, one of which, depending on how we want our function to work, is we can add the optional chaining parameter here, uh, operator, sorry. So if I add this little question mark before we access a potentially undefined property, um, what we're telling TypeScript is, hey, if this property exists, give it to us. If not, just return undefined. And if I hover over get name, we can see this is now a function that returns a string or undefined, which is cool if that's what we want. Um, alternatively, you know, uh, we could do something like if user dot first name return user dot first name else return unknown. I mean, now this is just kind of implementation details, but you can see well, in my editor TypeScript auto completed the optional chaining operator here. Um, same is true if we want to assign this to null. So maybe um, let's take that away for a second. Uh, we're going to say or null. Now you notice that we don't use two, two bars here in TypeScript. You only use one for the or operator, but we're going to learn more about that in a future lesson. Um, so username can be this or null, which means if I call this, you can see right away, it's no longer optional. We always have to provide an argument. So now I can provide the object here, or I can provide null. You can also explicitly write undefined. Undefined is a possible type. So if we go down here, undefined. However, keep in mind the difference between the optional parameter or the undefined. So if I say this is explicitly undefined, I explicitly must pass undefined. I can't pass nothing. Where if I change this from undefined, and I pass the optional parameter or property, um, we can call it without an argument. There are a couple more advanced types that we won't be covering in this course here. Uh, other types to be aware of object, never unknown. Um, you can go into lesson plan here and there's some documentation if you're curious and want to read through it.